So it's January and we're back. We're each going to get started this month on a plan for disaster preparations. The important thing, of course, is to get started and then to get moving so we can let our momentum build into the next month, February. Uh, we're going to focus on earthquake preparations in particular because we are, after all, in the Pacific Northwest and we are in an earthquake zone. Firefighter AJ is back with me. Hi, AJ. Hey, Larry. So, AJ, take a look around my room. What do you think? Well, there's a number of things you can improve on, Larry, but uh, today we're just going to kind of focus right here on this this bookshelf. The one that's right behind that's me, right? right? That's right. Right in front of your reading. Right in front of where you do all I, your reading. I, I, I do read here, that's and right. uh, what you're telling me is that this bookcase could uh, potentially yeah, cut my reading short? If there was a if there was an earthquake, it could easily fall over, and I'm worried about the bookcase, but also the things kind of on top of it there, too. So we'll go over some easy ways to fix that. Sounds good. All right. I'm ready to go. Let's do it. So what we have here, Larry, is just your standard furniture safety strap. Okay. It's got some Velcro here. This part just sticks on to the top of your bookcase, and this part you just screw into the wall. And that'll hold up the, the bookcase in it during any kind of earthquake. So just that Velcro is going to be enough to hold it, AJ? That's right, yep. Uh, and then also we have this museum wax. You just get a little ball of it here, warm it up in your finger, stick it on top, and then you can put your artifacts right on top of it, and it won't go anywhere. It's sticky. Now that wax is strong enough to hold when it really gets shaken in Absolute, a major quake? Absolutely, because this will be attached to the wall. Okay, so now we have moved to my laundry room, and we're down here to check my appliances and see if they're connected with flexible couplings. AJ, how am I doing on that front? You're actually doing pretty good, Larry. This is a braided metal flexible hose, and that's exactly what you want on your washing machine. Excellent. Well, I'm glad I'm good on that score. That's right. Okay, so finally, AJ and I are here in... By, by my water heater, and water heaters always seem to be in cramped spaces, and I guess this one is no exception, uh, but we do have it tied down pretty well. What do you think, AJ? That's right, Larry. You've done a good job. You've tied the water heater down at the top and the bottom, and it's bolted into this cinder block wall behind us. You also have a flexible hose to your uh, gas line, which is exactly what you want for this, too. Well, excellent. That's good. Well, thanks, AJ. I think this is a give me a great start for, for next time. From residential to commercial, from large loss to emergency response. Whenever damage strikes, call on the cleanup team that's faster to any size disaster. Serve Pro, like it never even happened.